guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a continuation in my liquid lipstick review series. And today is the highly requested Black Moon Cosmetics. I know you guys probably get sick of hearing this, but I have to say it for anybody that's new. I have exfoliated my lips with my Eva Anderson lip scrub prior to doing my makeup. And I went on and moisturized with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm uh, just to let my lips drink it in. And now I'm going to remove the excess. I did some swatches on the back of my hand and I find the two lip liners that match it the best would be Max Vino or J or Jordana's Plush Plum. So I'm going to be very honest with you. Yesterday, uh, as soon as this arrived, I swatched it on the back of my hand and it smeared all day long. I just kind of kept it on after I was like typing and doing work and it kind of smeared all over. So we'll see. I'm not having high hopes for this to be uh, transfer proof. Kind of look like a member of a plural wives family or something right now. My hair is just looking blah. I just blow dried it and I haven't styled it yet. So I'm going to go on and line my lips. I'm going to zoom in for application so you guys can see. This does have a very faint cake batter smell to it. It's a little streaky right there. Okay, so this went on kind of streaky. I'll step closer so you guys can see. You can just see some lighter patches. I'm gonna go on with another coat. Okay, some of these are hard to get out. I didn't say, which I don't think I did, I got it in the shade Deranged. First off the bat, these are super comfortable, really moisturizing. I do feel like it's slightly bleeding already though on the bottom, even though I used a lip liner. Mm. I'm going to go through with my Jordana lip liner because these are a little creamier and I'm going to touch up the outside. I'm just going to take my MAC uh, 195 brush and a little bit of foundation off the tip of my foundation and I'm just going to clean up the outside border. So it did go on a little streaky and it's still kind of a little streaky in spots. The same as always guys, I'm going to give this a total worth of eight hours of wear. I will not retouch this. I will not apply a gloss to it. I'm just gonna go about my daily activities. In four hours, I'm going to do my first check-in and in the additional four hours, I will do the last check-in. At the end of this too, I will do the kiss test to show if they're transfer proof and I will also see if they've worn away anywhere, if they layer well. Also in my first check-in, is when I'll give you guys the rundown, the cost, the shipping, the amount that you get, all that good stuff. My new baby came in yesterday. Isn't she pretty? I'm just waiting for my case to get here. So it is 11.45, guys. I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, so it is 3.59, a little more than four hours after initial application for this. Um, this isn't holding up well. I'm gonna zoom in to show you the wear, um, but I'm gonna put a picture right here of what my face just looked like inside Starbucks. And that is just from drinking a chai tea and I had ripped up a croissant and was putting it in my mouth and I got transfer all right down here on my chin. Let's zoom in. If you can see here, it's all but gone on that inside piece and it's started to wear away and a couple of random spots right there. So let's get into some information on these. First of all, it shipped in this adorable um, box right here. Make sure it's right side up. The packaging on these is uh, a gradient from black to whatever the color is on the bottom, which I think is really cute. It says Black Moon right here, and then this is a little silver jellyfish emblem right there from an artist that I will link below. These retail for $18 each. There is a flat rate shipping of $4 um, for most orders. I will link below their shipping because it turns into kind of a word problem. It depends on the cost and for international shipping as well. They have different rules from different areas, so I will link that below, you guys can check out. So with shipping and with taxes, this came to $23.35 for me. They are currently only available in four different shades and they're alluding to the fact that they're gonna be releasing more soon. 
So they have this color, which is like a deep burgundy color. They have a bright, vibrant red color. They have a nude color named called Libra. That's the only one that's sold out so far, I believe. And then they have a, like a midnight blue color. So really only one that would be work appropriate for the majority of people. You are getting 0.2 fluid ounces in here, which is a decent amount. And if you can see here up close, I'll post a picture of it from when it first came. There are air bubbles in here. I've seen a million people post things about the Lime Crime Velveteens talking about like, oh, I got ripped off. Simple physics would tell you if this was filled completely to the top and you pushed in an applicator in there, the product's going to displace. Where would it go? So it would overflow. So there's always going to be some room in some of these for it. It just depends on where the air pockets find. So you're still getting the same amount of product. I mean, the container is always going to be bigger than what's actually in there to make room for the wand and other things. I ordered this on September 27th, pretty much the minute it launched. I got tracking and a shipping notification on that same day on the 27th. And these were delivered in my mailbox by the postal service, which is how they ship on October 1st. It came in this box that says Black Moon in there with a crap ton of stuffing. All, literally all of the stuffing in the box just for this, that was a lot, but I guess they're damned if they do, damned if they don't, because if they didn't put enough in there and it came cracked, people would complain. Um, one thing I will note that I prefer companies to do is I live in an apartment complex and our mailboxes are those tiny little mailboxes. I prefer when companies kind of think ahead to that and they'll give you a box that fits in there. I just feel like this is a giant box just for one tiny lipstick and if I wasn't home, my post delivery man would have taken it and I would have had to go and sign and wait for him to get back the next day and it would have been a pain. I completely get it though. I'm just a little note. So if you can see on the back of my hand where I had swatched this, it already smeared all over the place. So something tells me that these are going to continue to smear. Uh, I did have that transfer right here on my chin and it wasn't like I ate anything crazy. It's remained very comfortable on my lips to wear. Uh, I did watch a few other reviews on these and one other girl said that out of all four colors she liked this one the least because this one did need a couple coats to go on and it wasn't as pigmented as the others. So you may have better luck with some of the other ones when it comes to streakiness. Let me talk about something I really like about these. So these are a matte lipstick which my lips are not shiny at all. I would call this matte but it's very 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 comfortable. But all of this happened the first hour and a half I had it on. So if I didn't have this with me to touch up, I would be looking crazy and I'm already looking crazy. These are vegan and cruelty free, which is great. They do claim on their website that these are five plus hours and that they are kiss proof. I don't think that they're gonna be kiss proof. We shall see though. So that's all I pretty much have to say about these guys. I will see you in another four hours. Hey guys, so it is 7.52. It's a little more than eight hours after initial application. Whew, I'm looking not very good right now. I went and got myself an eye watch. I really wanted to get one since they came out with these new ones. I really loved the original gold one, but that was like $15,000. I was like, I am no. <laughs> but they just uh, released the Sport in these different colors. It's an aluminum casing, but you can get them in gold and rose gold for a few hundred dollars opposed to the super expensive one. So I'm super excited to have that. So enough with technology talk. I am a hoarder of technology, any kind of computers, laptops, phones. If you guys saw my picture on my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna zoom in to show you guys the wear. I had to go into Apple like this and I look like pretty crazy. I also wanted to show you when I zoom in, I'm just a hot mess today all around. I use the Inglot 77 gel liner today. I don't do wings very often for a few reasons, as you guys know. Uh, one of which is I am yet to find something, actually the Tarte one, but you'll see up here, it's transferred up here. When people say it doesn't move, I'm like, on what planet? My skin must hate me or something, I don't know. And then over here, I have some, I look very Courtney Love right now. See this over here? I got some black somehow on the side of my face and some under there. Let me fix it and I'll be right back. Okay, now let's talk about my lips that kind of look like a monkey's bubble. 
So I have not eaten anything since my last check-in, uh, just because it's Friday night and I normally eat a later dinner. This was just from drinking chai tea out of a straw, drinking water out of a straw, and rubbing up a croissant and putting it in my mouth. As you guys saw earlier, it transferred down on my lip here. to tell you is this. This sucks as a liquid lipstick that I like. I like liquid lipsticks that go on, that are matte and very long wearing, that do not transfer. If this was just I was considering a regular lipstick, like I would compare this color to my Max Sin, which is a matte by them too. The colors are very similar. Except for the cost, I could get two of these for one of these. And if I was just looking at it as wearing it like I would wear this, and go out to eat, I know I would have to touch this up. Same thing with this. I know just wearing this after, like as the day goes on, that I'll have to touch it up. Same thing with this. So they're at, they advertise these as lasting five plus hours, not without retouching. And I am very gentle on my lips. Again, it's not like I'm rubbing stuff all over my face. Let me do the kiss test and that's going to decide where I rank these. So nothing on the back of my hand. Transfer. Mostly on the outside because it's pretty much worn away all on the inside here. And let me see the layering. Since it's chunky, not thinking it's going to be great. Let me zoom in. You can see the chunks through it. I'm gonna rank these at 14. Uh, I'm gonna rank these above the NYX ones because those are sliding all over my face and I did get some wear out of this, but these do transfer. This did go on very streaky. It wore away relatively quickly that I would need a touch up. So these are gonna go below my LA Splash because even though my LA Splash wore away in areas, they actually lasted longer than these. Um, for the price of $23 after tax and shipping, I just think I'd rather have two matte lipsticks that I know what to expect from opposed to these. I do like the packaging, they are very cute. And if this was just as a lipstick, I would really like these, I think they're great. But since I have colors that are like the ones they came out in, it's like, why am I gonna bother spending that much per lipstick? If I'm spending $23 per lipstick, I want it to be something that I put it on and I don't even have to worry that it's moving around my face, that I have it all over my chin, things like that. Um, I do find these comfortable. Um, so if you really were looking forward to these and you love the packaging and you wanna try them, give them a go. Um, I'm going to keep this in my yellow zone that are buy with caution because I don't hate these, but for a liquid matte long lasting lipstick, these just don't make the cut for me. I hope this review has been helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for tuning in guys and I'll see you next time.